Howdy team, I want to talk a little bit today about how we save access. So when we go to open access and we've got an icon here on our desktop, if you don't, you can always search in your Windows environment computer for access here on your search menu and it'll show you what you have inside your programs. I'm going to double click the icon and then it opens access. Okay, we'll go with a blank database. Now, when we go with a blank database, it says, what do you want to name it? And I want to name it blank for today. And it goes create. But then it opens up and it's already, Windows has already saved it on your computer. My advice to you is to go to the file menu, go to save as. Here are all your choices, but if you'll use the purple save as icon, then you can place your database where you want it, not where Windows decided it should be. And so I'm going to go and I'm going to name my blank database and I'm going to put it on my desktop in a folder that says blank database. I want all my pieces of this database inside this folder. So again, that's something you have to think about as you're importing um, Excel or Word documents or other things or starting to make relationships and build pieces in your um, database. Next you need to enable content and now you're ready to go. So again I can find that database even if I close it by going to my desktop, going to my blank database, double clicking and there it is, my blank one database that I made today. I hope this helps you in learning how to file save as and put those databases in excess where you want them to go on your computer.